Sorry about that. <laughs> How we doing? We okay? Yeah. All right, okay. So, I, you know, because this is all recorded, right? Yeah. My mum now watches all my videos, okay? So I've got to be really careful with my jokes. <laughs> Not because she's easily offended. She's just a massive critic. Do you know what I mean? She's taken to uh, writing really horrible comments on all my YouTube videos. <laughs> like, uh, the thing is, she's a scouser as well, so everyone's like, bad wool, this kid, you know. <laughs> I'm like, Mum, it's not my fault I'm from Warrington. Do you know what I mean? We got any, any scousers in tonight? <laughs> yeah. I knew there was, because somebody had vomited in the urinal by 8.30, hadn't they? <laughs> that was the only fucking... It was fine. It's nice to be here. It's nice to be here. I do like coming to Liverpool, the only place in the old country where uh, the second question you ask somebody is, what colours you been? And it's fine. <laughs> Usually, in most places, it's like, hi, what's your name? James. Okay, nice. What do you do? Hi, you know, where are you from? Liverpool. What colours you been? <laughs> Maroon. Get out. It is hard being the only wool in a Scouse family. And so I get apologised. I go to family parties and be like, you know, this is James. Uh, sorry about him. He's a wool. Like I, it's appropriate to say, like, I'm heavily autistic or something. You've got to watch out for the wool behaviour from this one. Here, I'm like, Dad! Not at the funeral, no. It's fine. No, it's good. I am from... What, anybody from Warrington here? Fuck off, no way, I didn't know. Didn't know the buses ran that fucking. Like, that's good, the old packing you on one and sending you back there later. No, it's nice, I'm from Warrington. I, very rarely, I tell you this story, very rarely do I get to actually be proud and like seem cool like I'm from Warrington, right? So I had this, because who, who is from fucking Warrington, like, really? Kerry Katona, aren't we? <laughs> fucking uh, Chris Evans. We haven't got a lot of people to look up to. So I, I was thinking of creating... Because you know they've got that Black Panther now, and everyone's like dead happy about it because it's representations in movies. Yeah. No, you, have you not seen Black Panther, me love? Who's seen Black Panther? One person. Let's just go on to the next joke. Anybody see Shape of Water? This is going well. Bloody hell, what, what have you been watching, love? Like fake taxi and that's it, is it? Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey! He saved it. He saved it. She's a star. Okay, anyway. No, I was down, I'll tell you this, I was down in London recently. And uh, London, I fucking hate London more than Liverpool. And um, <laughs> it's even worse because if, if you're from like north of fucking like Watford, they're just like, you're, you're fucking north. And now you're fucking north. Where are you from? And I was there the other day, though, after a gig, and I went out and I was talking to a lad after a gig, and he seemed like he's a bit of a gangster, he's a bit hard, he's a bit cool, do you know what I mean? He goes, where are you fucking from then? And uh, I went, Warrington, like that, quite proudly. <laughs> That's not meant to be the funny bit, mate, <laughs> fucking. You know, what colour's your bin, Nobed? <laughs> you better have a purple bin, you prick. No. <laughs> and he goes, uh, oh, Warrington, eh? Like that. The Warrington Wigan crew. And I went, in my head, I was like, what? The fuck is he on about there, mate? Is that like some cool gangster crew that I've not heard of? Do you know what I mean? Is there like some cool, well-known crew down in London called the Wigan Warrington crew? And I didn't want to seem like I didn't know what I was fucking talking about, so I just went with it. Do you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, I'm in the Wigan Warrington crew. Yeah? The fucking Wigan, the world-famous Wigan Warrington crew are down in London here, stealing all your fucking pasties. <laughs> Closing down your Iceland, you prick. Yeah, don't mess with me. Yeah, we're in the Wigan Warrington crew. Like that. And you know what he goes? He goes, uh, the fuck are you on about, mate? I said, I'm talking about the Wigan Warrington crew. He said, nah, mate. I was talking about the trains. I said, what? He said, yeah, you get a train from Edinburgh. He goes, Wigan, Warrington, crew, London. <laughs> Go ahead. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. 
Now, it's hard to date in Warrington as well, because, uh, you know, there's not much there, is there? Especially on Tinder. Anyone on that Tinder? <laughs> Hello, I think I matched through you before, to be honest. <laughs> Set the standards bar to low, and I think I saw you straight away. It's a fucking meat market, that, ain't it? That Tinder, fucking meat market. Bloody... The worst thing about Tinder, you've got to, like, set your interests, haven't you? Set, like, tell people what you're into. But it's really hard, because you don't want to sound like a prick, but then everyone sounds really boring, because everyone wants to sound modest. And it's like, hobbies. All the girls in Warrant are like this. Uh, my hobbies include uh, eating, sleeping, watching TV, hanging out with friends. And I'm like, D that, if your hobbies are on, like, the bottom level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, they're not fucking hobbies, are they? Do you know what I mean? Do you also like air and gravity as well? Is that how fucking simple it is? The thing is, though, it's the worst one, is when, uh, when you try and, like, set yourself apart and make yourself seem interesting. I met one girl the other day, and she said she was a... Uh, honestly, it said on the thing, it said, uh, watch out, guys, I'm a sapiosexual, Right? <laughs> Does anyone know what that is? I thought it sounded dead kinky. Does anyone know what it is? No, it means you're sexually attracted to intelligence. And I was like, firstly, love, you're in Warrington. <laughs> so if you're going for a guy with over eight GCSEs, <laughs> you're going to have a hard time. But also, how does that set you apart from everyone else? Do you think everyone else is just going around looking for like the mentally disabled? Like that? <laughs> that kills in Warrington. I like that. I like just like one section of the crowd just fucking loved that bit because you've been, you've been there and had some weird people on Tinder, haven't you? But I'll leave you with this. Well, I'll leave you with this. I did actually meet a nice girl in Warrington um, and we went on a date and uh, we sat down and you ordered the Big Mac, obviously. <laughs> grande, grande. The big one. I'm not cheap, mate. And she goes, uh, she goes, uh, okay, this is how it's going to work. This is how Tinder works, right? I'm not here for dating. I'm here for a shag. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I'm into, and you're going to see if you're okay with it. <laughs> and if we match, we can go back mine and get it on. Is that all right? And I was like, eat him a chips. Like, yeah, all right, fair enough. Got nothing, <laughs> nothing else is going on in Warrington, really, love. So... What are you into? And she goes, oh, I really like it when a guy lets me call him daddy. All right? Oh. You, there's a lot of pointing fingers at the back there that you guys can't see. Is that how you met? Or are you pointing for the McDonald's? Is that it? And I said, there's some awkward people over here that's a bit too real for, and there's some like, excited people over here. Let me finish the story. Fucking hell. This is the only crowd uh, the guy behind stage has gone, before I've come on, has ever gone, don't make eye contact. <laughs> I was like, are they nice? He went, don't make eye contact at all. No eye contact. They will smell blood and fear. It's fine. Anyway, no, I'll go back to the story. So she went, I want to... It's all right. I said, uh, I want to be able to call a guy daddy. I said, anything else? She went, yeah. I want you to treat me exactly like my daddy would. Huh? <laughs> Pretty kinky, wasn't it? But we're in Warrington, so I could only do one thing. I said, sure. So what I did, I stood up. I said, I'm just going to shop, buy some ciggies. <laughs> Never come back. Never come back. <laughs> That's too real. It's too real. Anyway, thank you very much. Happy James Holtley. See you later.